Hey Sans and welcome back to another test video. So today you got a full build 2v2 test. So you got King Vegeta with defense plus three, attack minus one, latent energy, then days healing, fighting spirit Sirius with Piccolo AI, and tagged with I believe it was Bardock. Yeah, it was Bardock. Uh, where's Bardock again? Oh. Here he is! I didn't know where Bardock was because I never get to test him. But finally, I get a Bardock test! Bardock with Sparkling Plus, Kibito Secret Art, Savior, and Super Plus One, TNAI, okay, an ultimate build. Hope he throws some out. <laughs> Against King Vegeta with Eternal Life, Q Plus One, Fighting Spirit, Ignition, and Piccolo AI. Versus. Oh, or tagged with. Uh, where is Scatty Vegeta? Scatty Vegeta's. With Savior, Miracle Sparking, Key Plus 2, Super Months 1, Fighting Spirit, Quick Fast Attack on Yadra Robi AI. You didn't specify whether you wanted transformations on or off, so I went ahead and turned them on, because, you know, we have Scatter Vegeta and King Vegeta in the fight, so why not? Alright, so let's hope that everybody does what they need to be doing. Ooh! How do you... Why'd you call yourself a piece of garbage? That's, that's messed up. That is really messed up, King. <laughs> Super Energy Volley from... Uh, what do I... What did I name... What did I name them? I need to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. So, I named uh, the first one Defense. And I named the second one B2. So, B2's been throwing out some B2. Just like I, oh, I assume he should be doing. But Defense is behind him with a pretty good, nice 15-hit melee combo. Oh, but defense is not backing down. I mean, B2 is not backing down. B2 is like, no, no, no. I may be built for B2, but I still got it. High speed clash. Defense wins it. So, B2 has eternal life, but B2. I mean, no. B2 has eternal life, but defense has uh, the Dendex healing, defense plus three, attack minus one, and latent energy so his defense is only going to be getting higher and higher volley connects for 14 so he pretty much has minus 14 percent i mean minus 15 percent damage on every hit and then sometimes that could be the huge difference between winning and losing you got a volley from b2 only only for uh four k points of damage and now his defense is up to uh uh what 3.5 now you got b2 at max power well, uh, defense gets off, uh, B1. Ooh, a nice ultimate combo from B2. Execution beam from defense misses. And super energy volley from defense connects. Or only 4k points of damage. Seems like she did a lot more. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Execution B from B2 connects for 10k, almost 9 10k points of damage. High speed clash. B2 wins it. Now B2 starting to pull ahead. That 10k points of damage from that B2. The energy by volley misses. Countered for only 3k points of damage. He must have missed some. Sensor. Gets everything off. I guess you get all the boosts. I don't know what, what boosts you get from uh, that King King of the Sands thing. I know he has some kind of like a power body effect though. I know that. But I'm not sure what he specifically gets off. Looked like he gained King of the Sands. Looks like he gained a little bit of everything. Execution Beam. Dodged. Super Energy Ray Volley connects. It's still anybody's fight. Of course since it's a 2v2. That King of the Sands, he, he is really unfazed. Both of them charging. Execution Beam. Dodged. They should have almost the same charge rate right now. Both of them have Fighting Spirit. That's pretty much it, so... No, 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 no. Uh, the, B1, the B2 build has a, what, Key Plus 1? Or was it Super Plus 1? I think it was Key Plus 1. King of the Sands connects. Volley, execution beam. Volley connects before the execution beam can get off. Oh, and a tag! Here comes Vegeta.
Gallant Gun connects, and down goes the defense, King Vegeta. And here comes Barra. Well, we see an ultimate. Oh, pow <laughs> Energy Wave and misses. Hope that his charge rate is uh, pretty good. It seems like Vegeta is just getting them right now. You give him Super Plus One, Sand Soul connects, so he doesn't have a. Uh, doesn't have uh, any charge pluses, so it's pretty much just his lonely charge rate. Hope it's enough. And he hasn't been charging at all. Nor do I know if he has a B1 that puts him at max power. His base charge rate's not too terrible, though. Vegeta has that plus, though. Back at max power. Both of them are at max power. But we see an ultimate from either one of them. Final Spirit Cannon and ultimate. Connects. Ooh. For 17k points of damage. Gallic Gun. Wild Sense out of the way. What's his uh what's his other B1? Oh, the the Sam. Okay. What's it say? You might be able to do maybe a B1 build on him because he has that dodge ability. But Vegeta is hurting right now. That hurt. That was 70k points of damage. Yeah, I, I don't know. I tag out too. Come back, get another chance later. Super energy wave volley connects. Final Avenger does not connect in time. Well, it must be nice to have a, a character where you can uh, just put Kibito Kaisuke R and hope that he goes into max power and charges up again because majority of people on blues, you can't do it. Countered with Execute Beam connects for 8.6k points of damage. You know, we got three people who heal. Three. It also sucks that we can't even do a B1 build on them because they heal. Final Avenger connects for. Almost 9k points of damage, pretty good. Full power energy wave, execution beam. We got a struggle. Who's gonna win it? King Vegeta wins it, and it's over. The tagging styles of King Vegeta and his son have won out. Alright, go ahead and fight again. Alright. Defense build, you get another opportunity to pull it off. Started it off with a volley. Completely misses. Shows like three rock formations with his strength, but completely misses. B2 charging up. Volley connects for 4k points of damage. Volley from defense completely misses. You need to take a book from D from B2. He connects with his. Other than charging. Oh, I thought maybe B2 is going to charge max power. I don't know how this works. Okay, apparently, uh, guess B2 wins. I, don't, I, I didn't know how that was going to go down. Seems like they were just going to cancel each other out. But nope. Lots of volley spam. Lots of it. What is he, freaking Maju? Grabbing a throw. By B2. B2 is just giving it to defense. Defense really hasn't even had time to really get his feet under him. B2 is always connect first, and that eternal life that B2 has. Defense misses again. He's pretty much back, back at full health. He is at full health again. It's a, if it's this, uh, defense has pretty much done nothing to him this entire fight. Because he's just been on that game. Connecting more. Me melee combo's been better. Charging, launching better. It's just only been overall better this round. Wally from uh, defense connects for only not even 3k. Gets up close to explosive wave. Okay, I guess Wally dodged by defense this time. Grabbing a throw by B2. B2 is still about two bars ahead. Maybe defense can bring it back. Volley connects from B2 for 3.6k points of damage. I don't know, defense just likes to get close and do an explosive wave for no reason. It's not like it does much damage. Volley kinda connects. 
Like, you know you have a better B2 than that. You know you have that execution beam, yet you're not using it. Neither one of you. It's just that volley, 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 volley. Like, do something else. <gasps> volley! Completely misses. King of the Sand. Gives you everything. Okay. Now I know. It gives you everything. Gives you attack increase. It gives you pretty much a little bit of serious ignition, latent energy, and fighting spirit. And... Gives you a little bit of power body too. Just, it's awesome, B1. I mean, he is king of all sands. And he tags out. All right, so here's Bardock. Will we see another ultimate? Well, power energy wave connects. Ooh, for 10k points of damage. No ultimate though. Can we get him at max power? King of the sands connects. Bardock's full power energy wave again. Charging up again. Is he gonna go to max power? Fire energy wave. Again, this time it connects. 7k points of damage. Wild sense. Wild sense. Like I said, if you want to, you can try a B1 build. It's just, his other B1's not as good. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Wally, wave, Wally should connect first, yeah, Wally connects first for almost 5k points of damage. Explosive wave. It looks like B2 build is pretty much out of steam right now. Wally, wave, wave connects and it's over. B2 is down. It's all up to Vegeta. Final Garlic Cannon. I do not know where the hell his ultimate was draining to, but his max power was just draining hella fast. He really didn't get to utilize it. Tried to do the, the Garlic Cannon, didn't get off in time. Trying back up to max power. I think it's just look how this look how fast it drains. I don't know why. Is it something that he has? He doesn't even have time to really utilize it. Look how slow bar exchange. Final spirit cannon. Connects. Ooh. For 17k points of damage. Garlic gun. Full power energy. Wave. High speed clash. I think Vegeta should win it. He has power of rage. No. Ooh. Bardock, he is showing freaking Vegeta. He is giving Vegeta everything. We're, it looks like we're going on round three. Vegeta's back at max power. Not saying much because it's going to be depleting very, very quickly. Full power from G-Wave. Dodged by Vegeta. Gallic Gun connects for 8.6k points of damage. No, Vegeta could probably still do it. He continues throwing on some B2s. All I have to do is just take out Bardock and then just deal with his dad. Nope, Bardock tags. Ooh, shouldn't have let him tag. Garlic gun. Ga Gallic gun. It's garlic cannon and Gallic gun. I think that's a typo in this game, but... Hey, what you gonna do? So Vegeta could probably still could do it. It's just it's gonna take a lot out of him. He already looks like he's already messed up. It looks like his dad's not afraid to kick that butt. Gallic cannon. Oh my god, look at Vegeta. Shoulder pads are destroyed. It's one eye closed. He is just messed up right now. Connects for 4k points. Damage. Not much damage because that defense on King Vegeta. He had plus 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5. He's at like, what? 4 to 4.5 defense plus. So that defense is just too damn high right now. Both on max power. King of Sands connects. I don't even know what, how much he gets an increase from uh, the B1, but. Ultimate. Nope. Punched and defeated. Alright. Well, still got to deal with <sighs> Bardock. So, good luck with that. Final Avenger. Gallic Gun. He's not get off in time. And we're going on to round three. This is a long video. 10k points of damage. Fight again. Oh my god, this video is long. So 
Once again, we got defense versus B2 again. Defense launches a volley, misses, like, surprise, surprise. Okay, you have that awkward interaction thing that this game does sometimes. It's like 500 points of damage from nothing. Him himself, I don't know, that, that's just, just a weird glitch that sometimes happens. Volley, counter with Execution Beam, but nope. Gets kind of nicked by a volley and doesn't get off its Execution Beam. No. This game was just like, maybe like, a year later in release, it would be a totally different game. V2 build and max power. Defense doesn't get off his max power. High speed clash. B2 wins. An ultimate. Wow, completely missed. Completely missed. He had it, he just missed it. But that's what you get for having an ultimate that goes in a straight line. The defense is just giving it to him. These matches are taking forever because one of them has. Took in Dende's healing and defense plus three, the other one has eternal life. These fights are taking forever. It's gonna take forever to render and upload. Forever. Volley from B2 connects for 3k points of damage. Looks like both of them are going up to max power. Both of them at max power. See an ultimate for a huge amount of damage so we can speed this match up. Ultimate, of course you miss. Ultimate, you're probably going to miss too. Oh, you both miss. You know what, you both suck. You both suck, and that was terrible. Both of you should be fired. Who is your boss? Because I need to contact your boss. 4k points of damage from B2. And that's about an even fight. After all this time. Execution beam, oh shit. An actual different B2 connects for 7.5k points of damage. Oh, great, an early tag. Oh my god. Vegeta is just tearing him apart, like he just said. And his max power is gone already. Where does that go? He must have some kind of max power minus or something. Because it just disappears so fast. Is it that dodging after image thing? A sparkling, miracle sparkling or something? Is that it? Because it's not even worth it. Why don't Gaur Cannon connects? It's not even worth it. He doesn't get this, he doesn't have any amount of time to use his max power. Any amount of time. It's just gone. He's charging back up. The key plus two. He can charge fast, that's good. Just max power is gone in a matter of seconds. Yay, more tagging. Alright. Final Revenger. High speed clash. Vegeta wins it. And Final Revenger again. High speed clash again. Vegeta wins it again. He has power of rage. I was actually surprised that he actually lost that bout in that other match. Galagun. Dodged. Vegeta, that charge rate though, is at like 2.5 right now, so. Grabbing the throw by Bardock. Wild Sense out of the way, full power enjoyed, that's not gonna connect. Oh my god. Gallant Gun. Taking forever. Come on, someone do something. Dish out the damage. Do not chug. Oh my god. I don't care who wins, but come on, this is taking forever. This is already a 20 minute video. 20 minutes. This is ridiculous. High speed clash. Barak wins. Barak really hasn't been doing much of anything. Final Revenger. 
Misses. Surprise, surprise. His charge rate's not good enough. We're having the same problem with Gotenks do, where, yeah, his super damage is great, it's awesome, but he just doesn't, he, he can't charge fast enough. You pretty much have him a base charge rate, and sometimes that's just not enough. We've been doing, the, debating the same thing with Gotenks do. You know, I mean, you have super plus one, we decide to go with super plus two and launch support, which evens out, but sometimes base just isn't fast enough, and it doesn't look like it's fast enough. While he's standing there trying to charge with on his base key char key, key rate, his opponent's already back up in his face. You know? He tags. Well, it might be better just to make him more of a spammer. Maybe instead of super plus one, maybe give him key plus one? Oh my god, more tagging! Oh, he's turning into an ape. Super Gallic Gun. Misses. Don't. No. Bad Vegeta. I speak Clash. Okay, well, Vegeta wins it. I mean, that was bad Vegeta. That was bad, even worse, King Vegeta. Why the hell? You wouldn't have been phased by that. Vegeta takes out his father. Runs out of max power in a matter of a couple seconds, though. So I think that was a bad idea. Final Revenger. Misses. Final Gallic Cannon. Connects. 5.6k points of damage. Already back at max power because that key plus 2. Like I said, instead of the super minus, I mean, instead of the super plus 1, give him try key plus 1. So he has a better charge rate. And you can still keep the, the sparkling plus or whatever. That seemed like it was working. He's a max power for a cool minute. Uh, you can still keep the the Kibito secret art, and then you can come back with all the blast arcs. I think that'd be better. I think that would be better. And did he have anything else? Sparkling plus was three points. Kibito secret art was two points. Then super plus one. He had something else. Just can't remember. I don't know. But yeah. Oh, savior, savior. Yeah. So those six points are fine. Just change the super plus one into key plus one and try that out. Because his base charge rate is not fast enough for him to go back into max power and utilize the full strength of him having those uh, those, you know, those blast docks from Computer Secret R, or you know having the sparkling uh, plus and staying in max power long enough because he can't get to max power because he can't charge fast enough. All right, and the whole thing on Vegeta, take that off too. The miracle spark, miracle sparking. Yeah, take that off. That's stupid. All right, so I hope this test was useful. Long video, so send it test request whenever I try to get them to you as quick as possible. So thank you for supporting me as a tester, and thanks for watching.